I could count on probably one hand the number of black Americans that have been in my home as a guest for a meal. Mm -hmm. I am pretty confident that I can say that I have never been in a black American's home as a guest. Really? I've been in many Latino mm -hmm. homes mm -hmm. and I've had many Latinos in my home okay. for meals and conversation and worship and yeah. parties and, and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? How, is how often have you been in a white person's home as a guest? Several times. Okay. Um, I know that my experiences are different. Okay. Um, I think because I was I grew up in um, going to magnet schools where, like I said, I went to school with a lot of different cultures. Mm -hmm. um, and let me I back have, up just a second. Okay. I have to, I'm excluding Brazil in this. Okay. Because there was no, that was not American culture at all. Okay. It's okay. completely separate. So. Okay. I'm just saying, so in America, yeah. basically. Okay. And being a cancer survivor, I will say I have been most times the only black at a lot of the functions. That's been a question, actually, why... What are, why are blacks afraid to, not necessarily afraid, I don't think it's fear, mm -hmm. but why aren't they more involved within the cancer community and going out and advocating and bringing awareness or even just socializing to have some of that, not just the camaraderie, but just that experience of connecting with someone who's been in your shoes. But a lot of times I'm the only black, but I don't feel like it mm -hmm. most times. I'll say that. The times that I think about it is not usually in the moment, it's after the moment has passed. Mm -hmm. um, and we were involved with uh, former churches in Relay for Life. Mm -hmm. And I can't recall seeing African Americans present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If they were, I, I don't remember it. It's usually not as. I can say, I've heard people, like, even, you know, you talk about voting. Mm -hmm. You remember um, when I said, it's almost like, um, before this interview, I said, it's almost like I'm numb to it. Mm -hmm. I think um, for a lot of blacks, and I could be wrong, but this is my guess, is that my voice doesn't matter. My voice doesn't count. Me participating won't make a difference. So until I recognize your full humanity, the rest of it is pointless. It's like, why should I go to that? How is that going to help me? Because I'm still needing this, this, that, and the other. I have to, you know, a lot of times the cost of it is higher than mm -hmm. what I can afford. Because I'm, you know, a lot of, especially like just thinking about within the cancer community, fundraising People sometimes have this idea that I can't afford it. I did. I had that mindset. And I was for a long time in that situation where I couldn't. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I moved here and, you know, my career totally changed after cancer. Mm -hmm. Before cancer, but definitely after. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's the mindset of um, what that ex experience is going to be like. 